I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Away Carry On Flex, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. The outside of this carry-on looks very, very similar to the regular size carry-on. The only difference is that this one has an expansion system so that you can get a little bit more capacity, a little bit more storage out of it. So taking a look at the exterior features, uh, we've got a polycarbonate shell, which is pretty standard like the other one. Uh, we've got some just general away logo uh, kind of branding around the, the suitcase here, but in general, it's pretty simple. Um, it works really well. I think that's like when you think of suitcase, you kind of think of a way at this point they've been around for long enough uh, and this design is something we see a lot but we've got some pretty decent wheels on the bottom here um, no issues rolling over a different terrain or anything like that we have uh, four wheels so you can roll this on all four or you can tip it back and just roll it on the one or on just the two. Um, we also have a carry or like a little grab handle here. So the function of this is like if this is in the overhead bin or even like if you're laying this on a um, like a bed or something, you can put your hand in the bottom handle there and then use the top carry handle and just kind of like shift it from side to side. It just gives you another grabbing point. I personally really like having that on the bottom as an option. Uh, we also have, like I mentioned with these side carry handles, these are pretty comfortable. There's no like additional padding or anything, but they do stay pretty flush to the side of the suitcase when you're not using it. So there's not like a ton of extra room there for it to get caught on anything. And you can really pretty easily stick your hands under there and do some grabbing. So in general, um, no notes on that, like working um, like poorly or anything like that. No, uh, it works pretty well. And then we also have the telescoping handle here, which has two adjustment points. And this uh, I found to be pretty decent um, for different heights, which I'll show you in a second with it next to me. But the actual handle itself is pretty comfortable. It's just kind of like a soft plastic. There's no like ergonomic shaping or anything to it, but I don't necessarily miss it. It's just not the most comfortable handle that we've used. Um, the suitcase also came with a luggage tag here, and then also this little scuff remover, which um, I show you how this works on the original carry-on. Um, I find that it honestly just works mostly for like dirt, but something that's like more damaged to the actual shell itself, like right here, that's not really going to buff out. So um, if this gets really scraped up by uh, whoever's handling your luggage, that isn't necessarily something that that scuff remover is gonna fix. So if that's something that was like a huge selling point for you, um, I would maybe consider something else. This is the carry-on next to me at the highest adjustment point. So this is as tall as the handle will get. This is the next stop down, which is a little bit more comfortable for me. I'm five foot six, and then it just falls all the way down into kind of its return position when you let go. Um, the button on the top is nice and easy to use. I think in general, what's nice about Away is they have just a very subtle professional look um, and they work well. So you can see these wheels roll really nicely. No issues getting them over like thick carpet or anything like I mentioned. Um, and so it feels really sturdy and it just looks nice as well. So I think, you know, if you're looking for just kind of like a basic sort of suitcase that does the job with a little bit of extra room, then this is going to be a pretty solid option. If you're finding this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. So with this one here being the flex, like I mentioned, you get a little bit of extra storage space. So I'll show you that in a second. But basically what you get, you can see there's like a double layer of zipper track here. And with the original Away, we found that like this zipper track was a little bit recessed and it made these feel like two kind of separate panels that were floating. In this case, having these two zippers adds a little bit of structure and they are attached like at the very top here. So I do feel like this one is like, it just feels a little bit more secure. Not that the other one felt not secure, but I think it's just, this one matches a little bit more what we see commonly with like hard sided luggage. Um, the zippers are YKK and then we have the TSA friendly lock up here. So you just kind of put in your code there and then pull that button and then you can open up this thing pretty easily. So I'm actually going to show you like this is that main zipper track. Um, and with this closed as it is, you get a 39.8 liter capacity. Uh, and then if you were to expand it, so there's an expansion zipper on the one side here and you just unzip all the way around and it adds a little bit of dimension here. So with this expanded, you get 46.7 liters. So I obviously have this packed out with 
um, enough gear for just like the smaller version. But when you do pack this out with the larger size here, then you're going to um, see with like, you're gonna have a lot of extra space there. Uh, it's an additional, I think it's, yeah, 2.25, um, inches of packing space so and like that kind of nets out to be almost like a full 10 liter difference so if you want that extra space option that's going to be really great but it will impact carry-on compliance so definitely keep that in mind with the actual main compartment here I'm just going to open this up we've got um, the the suitcase as well is a little bit heavier um, it's actually 8.15 pounds, um, which is heavier than we see with a lot of suitcases. But the higher you go up in capacity, the heavier the suitcase is going to be. Um, and then if you add on additional features, that goes on top of that as well. So with the inside here, you can see all of that extra packing space. And then when that's not being utilized, it just kind of like hangs out down there. So it's not like it's in the way or anything. Um, but we just have pretty simple organization. It looks very similar to their other suitcase. The primary difference being, instead of this compression panel having two individual pockets, it has one big one. I personally liked the two individual pockets because it allowed me to store like smaller items in either side, like I did like undergarments in one and then like accessories in the other. In this case, it's all just kind of meshed together. So like I have a hat in here, um, but it would have been nice to maybe put like the hat in the one pocket down here and then something else up top. So don't really love that. Um, I guess if the, it is technically removable, this compression panel. So if you wanted to, you can take it from your other suitcase and just put it in here. That's always an option. Um, but they just kind of buckle, the buckles move out of the way. I think these are Duraflex buckles if I remember correctly. Um, not able to find any branding on that. So maybe they're unbranded actually. But we have uh, just like a bunch of clothing in here and it just fits like a regular, I mean, I just put a lot of pants in here, but it fits like a regular bucket shape, right? And so you can do like a pair of shoes in here. Um, you have a ton of space though to work with. These straps, if you're not using them or if you remove this panel, you could just use them like a regular compression strap. They do just go across that way. So it's not like locking it down, you know, top to bottom or something like that, but I think it still works really well. And then on the other side here, we have a zippered mesh panel. So this opens up and then in here, I just have like some packing cubes, um, an additional layer and a pouch here. So in terms of space, they say this is for like three to five days of clothing. You can get like five to seven outfits or something like that. I can fit way more than that in here. Personally, um, I was able to fit I think it was like a week's worth of clothing on this side alone um, if you do like a capsule wardrobe type thing and then on this side here is where i put a lot of like my smaller accessory items like pouches um, or you know a hat or an additional pair of shoes or something like that but in general it you have <clears throat> excuse me you have a decent amount of space in here and on this side as well you have this little pouch and this is like an additional laundry bag and it comes buckled in here. So it stays in place and you can use this as like a shoe pouch too, but you can kind of like load it up this way, but you just have to make sure that you're leaving space for it when you're actually packing up the rest of the gear as well. Like if you put all of your clothing in here, once it's dirty, you're not gonna put it in there neatly folded. So if you fold everything so nicely in this bucket shape, that once you know you fill this up, then it's disorganized and it doesn't close, that's gonna be a problem. So have to be a little bit smart about that. Um, but if you don't wanna use this, then you can just sort of roll it up, tuck it away and leave it in this little pouch, or you can take it out of this pouch entirely and use this pouch for other things. Like um, I believe in the other suitcase I used, like I put some like medication in there and stuff like that. So easy to tuck away, stays out of the way. Um, in general, I think they, you know, they have a pretty simple design for these, this luggage, but it does a really good job at what it needs to do. Just keep in mind that if you are going to be using this expansion system, it could impact your carry-on compliance. So make sure that you're taking those measurements into account when you're doing so. So there you have it, the Away Carry-On Flex. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.